on a long rest. Mm, I don't. Well, when we woke up, the the doppelganger thing we left up after doppelganger. Thing. We haven't taken a yeah. long rest. I think okay. it's in the morning. Yeah, we could probably um, we'll just say um, say it's the morning there. And are you guys all just chilling around? Riri's off and gone again. He said he had something to do. And Bai is nowhere to be seen. I Well, while we're discussing our plans, I would like to take a short rest so I can regain my transformation back. Yep, yeah, you feel free to take a long, uh, short rest. And I would also like to unattune to the gem of fear. Yes, you can. Test. You can easily do that. After I do that, I go over to Alaris. You want? You want this? The gem of tears. What? What? My spells need versatility. My spells need versatility. The gem of tears. All your attacks will become cold, no matter what. Oh, hmm. I mean, uh, let me take a look through my spell repertoire. I mean, it's gonna be pretty useless for me unless. Oh wait, what does what is the interaction between that and burning hands? Is burning like hands. That? So yeah. the burning hands does damage. Then it'll of course do ice damage instead. I don't. Let me just have a quick look at burning hands, as you said it was. It's like a stream of fire, like a dragon breath. So. Yeah, then I, I guess it'll just be a, a stream of ice <laughs> instead. <laughs> oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, all right, sure. I'll hand it over. I'll take it all for right. now. There we go. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Oh, uh, is it an official item or is it? Homebrew, There is a card. Yeah. yeah. There is a card I'll, somewhere in this chat. I'll quickly send it, it to you. Let me just message you and right. send it to you. Yeah, my spells have a lot of last time, especially last time. I need when fighting against what really. Yeah, I need my uh, my psychic damage, my force damage. Oh yeah, psychic damage is way better than cold. Yeah, mm -hmm. even though it's a cantrip. But... Here you go. Mm -hmm. I really mm -hmm. need to have oh. my DNT stuff in a bit of ac more accessible location. <laughs> While right. everyone is doing that, Hades shall take a quick minute to meditate. Yeah, what are you meditating on? Or are you just meditating? <laughs> just meditating to keep the chi flowing, you know. Yeah. Keeping, make sure he's calm, making sure the other person in his head is still asleep. Mm. Yeah, and... You guys are all busy taking your long rest. Uh, I keep saying long oh. rest today. Yeah. But yeah, you <laughs> keep finishing your short rest. And Alaraf, are you attuning to the Gem of Tears? Yes, I am. Yep. As soon as you attune uh, tune to it, you feel a little bit uh, different. Maybe it's just you're feeling a little bit colder than normal. And hmm, Nothing else? Okay. Yeah. What are you guys doing now? Because you guys, as we know, you guys are stuck on an island. Well, I want to hunt space spiders to bring it money. Okay. That works especially um, for you, Alaret, since most well, two of your offenses, two of your spells, can it, you can't even cast two of your spells without money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, no, no, only one. There's only one spell I can't cast uh, as of yet, which is Chromatic Orb. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a good offensive spell. Right. Mm, but we can worry about that later. Everything else is fine. But anyway, I got a plan to, to kill the face spider. I've been thinking about this for, it feels like a week, but it, it's really just five minutes. Is the plan. I set the forest on fire in the in the ethereal no. plane. Hear me out. No. I set the forest on fire in the ethereal plane. He will be forced to get out or he can't go there unless he want to catch fire. Meanwhile, the two of you, Hades and Alaris, Hades hit him first. You go cast with a sleep spell. And if it tries to escape again, 
once it's injured, then I can finish it off in the ethereal realm. I say it's a foolproof plan. What if it's stupid and wants to get burned? Well, I have then, to agree with Hades. Yeah, and besides, you you remember what happened last time you tried to face off against the uh, face back? I don't around. have my transformation last time. Now I have. Okay, sure. <laughs> I can always escape. And as you guys are talking, Bai walks out of the burn forest. Oh. Is the forest still burning? It's been a day, right? The burned. Oh, burned. burned. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> And now we have the paladin with that. So the chances of success has been increased. Sure. What do you say? I can hunt them down. Uh, but and it's kind of, what? It's, it's kind of useless to try to hunt for it, right? Like, uh, unless you, uh, like, we can't really sell them because there isn't really any towel. So well, what's the, the blood? Trying to kill the face fighters. The blood? Don't you? Don't they need to make to have a face spider blood to make a contract? The blood contract, then even a wish can break. Right. Okay. Sure. And plus, who else can hunt the face spider down besides us? Most of the time, they can just escape to the ethereal plane. But this, time, even if they try to, I can kill them. All right. Okay. You convinced me. Okay. That'll be useful in the future, I guess. Hey, you sure in? Hades is just kind of in a trance, <laughs> so <laughs> he's still meditating very calmly. Oh, that's a yes. I'm gonna go <laughs> yeah. that yes. Yes, it's yes. yes. So, silence means yes, yes. <laughs> but you may have to uh, remind him of a plan. I don't think gonna, he's listening. I'm just gonna knock at his forehead. And I'm just gonna say, hunt. All you need to do is beat up a spider. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Yes. Yep. And he just jumps up and goes, "Okay." All right then. All right. Now let's burn a forest down. But later, we're still on a sh on the ship, right? Um, right yeah, here? I believe you guys are yeah, near be. the ship slash sand. Just pretty much right at the ship. Alright, so let's just assume like uh, we already set up like a rope to climb up without going under again. Can we do that? Um, yeah. You've, you've already got an entrance that you can go into like the captain's quarters. Oh yeah. But we'd have to like swim all the way back. So let's just like set up a rope system, like tie it at like the ship and then drop it down to the sand. That'll be easier to get back later. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So all right. Tie that and in. you're all at full health, right? No injuries? Should be. Just making sure. And let us do not go near the spider. I nearly died by one bite. You especially. Sorry, Lyra, but worry. you're really squishy. What about me? I'll stay here the hell away. You can worry. survive for a three hit. If eh, maybe if you yeah. resist the poison, maybe it's six hit. Depends on how good of a poison resistance you have. Mm -hmm. Big giant dude who lives in the mountains. Who knows? Well, there's no face spider in the mountains, as far as I know. Anyway. Yeah, no, there's worse. Let's get the plan going. As I'm going mm -hmm. to... Any of you have a thought? Do I even have a thought? I don't think I have a thought. Wait, no, I have a thought. Oh, yeah. A thought. I'll grab a torch and I light it. Well, I light it after I go on land. All right then, let's go. All right. Nothing much. Bye. So pretty much uh, just all woken up, decided to kill a face spider. Now, and Alarif, are you heading off to the ethereal realm now? I no, no, no. Um, you you get Alarif and Aiden mixed up again. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Like I keep yeah, mixing just up Aiden, all sorts so. of words. But I, Aiden, you, Aiden, you heading to the ethereal realm now? Yes. Okay.
So, yeah, you go into the Ether Realm and you can see the burned forest and the material around you. It's all destroyed. And Alarif and Hades, are you guys investigating, looking for the Fae Spider in the material realm? As I set the yep. forest on fire in the ethereal realm. Sorry, so you can the out to the you, material realm. You can set the fairly charred wood on fire, but it doesn't do that much. Eh, oh well then. Then I'm just going to... I guess I'll look for the spider too, but I won't approach it in case it's in the ethereal realm. Yeah. So... Is everyone investigating in their in particular realms? Yep. Then roll investigation, everyone. Mm -hmm. Not all guidance. I, I guess guidance on myself. 16. Oh. No. Ah, that's not a... No, never mind that. That's not a... And... Deep. And 10. 10. And you... You guys are all searching, Iden. You can see around <coughs> 60 feet and you're walking for quite a while, but you don't really notice anything out of the ordinary. And Hayden and Larif, you guys are picking your way through the burned wood before you come across this massive drop in the ground. It's made of there's bricks surrounding the edges of this hole and a fairly broken staircase leading all the way to the bottom. Hey, I remember this. All right, Hades, you told us. Oh, you're, you've been down there. It's down there. Can't remember. Hmm. I was more focused on not breaking my legs. <laughs> Reasonable enough, all right. Hmm. Do I find the... Um, uh, by you're you're still just kind of back at the ship, just kind of chilling there, <clears throat> waiting. The rest have gone off to look for a phase spider, <clears throat> and that's where you are. Did by, did by what Jonah? ship? What fucking ship? What the hell are you all talking oh. about? Oh, the ship was fighting on. Did you completely oh, miss the ship? Should from last session, but basically they all came to the ship. I missed like three sessions. I missed three sessions. Then watch the stream, motherfucker. I don't have time. Sure, dude. To be fair, it's like eight eight hours. Hours. But yeah, basically they'd all explored the, sh the ship and yeah, fought a doppelganger named Riri with Riri fighting at their side. And yeah, and then they're all off to go fight an Eve and to find a phase spider. And everyone's in the plane of order. Plane of order? Water. Don't mind the accent. Oh, water. Oh, British okay. accent. Or something. Uh, I heard order. Boy, oh, trust it gets my accent, eh? But nothing. Water. Order. Water. <laughs> Water. 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 You're gonna look for water. a bit of the water. If you're, it could be left or it could be right. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> We're in the plane of water. Yeah, yeah you guys in the oh. plane of water. Mm. Uh, so basically, I'm not doing anything. Is that correct? I'm just behind. Yeah, you're, you're just chilling next to the spark. Real quick. What's the time? Oh, yeah. It's morning. Um, okay. You can't really tell the time in this plane, but you can probably tell based on your internal clock that it's probably just a little bit later than morning. Mm. How much is a little bit? Um, maybe one, two hours. What's considered morning? Mm, when you feel refreshed and not sleepy just have after having a long rest you can't exactly tell in this plane <laughs> when yeah the sun is always on if it's even the sun not sure um there's one sun and two moons huh yeah. okay so no no face spider near inside 
No. Are we going, going down guys, in the hole? You guys don't see any face spider. Is there any face spider track in the hole? Um, what's there? What's the entry in the hole? Um, it's, you guys are peering down into this massive hole in the ground. Um, it's quite far down. You can barely see the bottom, but the stairs up near the top look I'm fairly, just fairly normal, fairly broken though. It might be a bit of a struggle to make your way down. Mm. Is it more than 50 feet deep? Mm. You're not entirely sure. Actually, I'm going to reappear in the normal realm. I grab a rock and I throw it down the and I listen how many seconds does it take for the sound, the, for the rock to reach the bottom. You, uh, so you drop the stone and it goes and you do not hear it hit the bottom. Well, shit. No. Softball. Well, it's far enough that if we jump, we would all die. No. Who wants to take a trip no. down? You, you will not die. Hades just kind of turns to Aiden like experience. Well, you got lucky last time. Anyway, what's levitation do specifically? Exactly what it says. Uh, you can basically go up or down. Is it like, oh, so it's flying but only up or down? Yeah, but only 50 feet above ground. So if you want to like float down and glide down, then you can do that. No, no flying though. Mm. Okay, how many people can you cast at a time? Let's see how many. It's like flip two or three, right? Usually, one like creature that. or oh, one. Okay, one creature or loose object of your choice. Okay, how about can we can we levitate a chunk of dirt that we can stand on? Well, you wanna be like what's that movie called? Okay. Avatar? No, that's not it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty common in like movies and stuff. Some Earth, Earth element based movie. Can yeah, you do that? Yeah, maybe do Avatar. Can you do that? But do we don't yeah, we need to, to carve to... out a huge rock first? Like, so you... we need to cover a huge rock. Or we could just tie some ropes together and, for, and climb down. No, that it's, sounds a lot uh, more reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> no, but how many ropes do we need? We don't have infinite rope. Do you hear? Do you not? Do you well, have any rope? Uh, no. I mean, there is a stair, so we can make our way down from there. Just, just try to hang on the stairs. There's a high chance um, of it tall. <laughs> Uh, especially Hades, Hades. Hades. Yeah, just about to say, look to your left yeah. at the giant of a Goliath. Do How much do you weigh again? Puny... Hold on. Is that 300 pounds or 200? Wait, let me try and find it. Oh, I... I mean, I can go to the ethereal realm and be safe, I guess and be weightless, but... I was hefty. I'll need to add it. Hold on. I don't know about the rest of you and how you get that. Is there a weight limit on the levitation? Um, let me have a real quick look at the levitation. Levitate a target so, uh, that weighs up one. to 500 pounds. Oh, 500. I'm not that fat. I can, I can tell you that. Well, no, no, no. Y you grab on a Hades lattice, and then you cast levitation on him. He'll drag you down, and I'll go to the Israel realm and just walk down the stairs. The stairs. What? So I'm gonna stand on Hades or something? Yeah, pick it back, pick it back on Hades. Levitation works like that, right? Yeah, it can work yes. like that, but uh, is that a good idea? It's like a, it's like feather falling spell. <sighs> right? Well, I mean, I well, don't see any better ideas. Well, just can I make some sort think? of an intelligence? Can I make some sort of intelligence check to make sure that 
that doing that doesn't fuck fuck all of us up. Uh yeah, roll intelligence, please. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna cast guidance on myself. Okay, that's good. Eighteen uh, plus an 18. one, nineteen. An eighteen. Technically, well, and technically, levitation. You can only move by pulling against a fixed ob- object or surface in reach. And they only really rise vertically as far as in the spell. Right. As, as in the spell's description. But yeah, mm-hmm. technically you can move down, but you need something to be able to allow you to move in that direction. But technically, you guys could do that. Have someone hop on Hades. <laughs> But just remember, you've got to have that 500 weight limit. I'll relay that information to each other. So hmm. technically, All right. it wouldn't be let's a just, problem. Let's just take the stairs for now. And like we can always do this later. All right. it, yeah. I mean, can Hades take the stairs? Hmm, good question. Can I make uh, I've already gone up from... Yeah, probably broken half and going up. Yep. Can I make like a nature or survival to check the integrity of the wood to see if there's a 300 pound Goliath that will break the wood or not? Roll, roll intelligence saving throw, please. Saving throw? Okay. Saving throw. Well, that's good because I'm good at that. That's a 16. A 16? Mm, maybe? You're not entirely sure. Like, it looks sturdy enough, and you have heard him go up these stairs before, but I don't believe you're the most knowledgeable on engineering, Aiden. So, you're not entirely... I'm a nature druid. I know about wood. You know about wood, but this happens to be stone. Not quite your area of... Expertise, yeah. Do we have a dwarf? Nope. <laughs> Vendo okay. can do. So we can so just walk then? Yeah, and let's I just take a chance. If he falls, if he falls, I can always uh, quickly cast Levitation. Uh, levitation oh, yeah. Or if you just fine. let me fall. Nah. Nah. You'll have to break your I'm, leg. I'm be, pretty fine. durable. Well, I can heal him as long as we get down there. Oh, yeah. You can negate all your damage on, like somehow, right? Yeah, only exactly. A D10, right? when, but if you're lucky, you can. If you, if you roll a 1 on the D10, well, you won't be so lucky. Anyway, so walk down those stairs. Okay, so who's taking the lead? I assume Ida? Me. Hades? Uh, I'll go yes. second as I go in the Ethereal realm to not add weight. Uh, yeah, Hades, you made your way up these stairs before. Roll, let's go wisdom, please. Wisdom? Okay. Yeah. All of us? Just me. Uh, hmm. huh. Oh, that's good. And, it's not awful, is it? And you're you're thinking for a bit before you're heading down. And you remember quite a bit about heading down these, heading up these stairs. They weren't particularly the most stable. And you stop yourself before you even head down to the third step. That's why, as I appear again, that's why we need another plan. This will not work. Hmm. Let's do the avatar rock thing. And the two of you stand in it, while I just walk the stairs normally. I mean, or I theoret- it theoretically it should work. Technically it should, but so why not? Try it out. Is there any big ass rock <laughs> nearby? Or a big ass like a platform thing? 
Well, we can always use the stair as a platform. The what? Oh, the stairs? The stair itself, yeah. Like, I but, can cast levitation on the stair, and then Hades can, like, just stomp on the side of, like, the stair, so, like, it breaks off from the wall. And then yeah, you can just float. Oh. Isn't it better if it's wider? Mm, and sure. the problem is, how are you, how, how heavy are you, Larry? Plus you like, a little less than under 200 pounds. That's still quite heavy for an unstable platform. <laughs> I think it would be safer if you both just hold on to Hades as you all go down. <sighs> okay. Let's just continue. <laughs> hmm. We can always continue until like we need to use that. Let's just delay it. L let's put it as the last option. Sure, it's your life that's on the line as I go back to the <laughs> ethereal plane. <laughs> Alright. So what was that? Okay. All right. So go yeah. on and forth and take the rest. So yeah, what you, what yeah let's you... just go on. Mm -hmm. Yep, they, they're taking the rest. I'm in the ethereal plane, I'm safe. I walk right behind all of them so if the material plane rock falls i won't fall with them okay so who's making their way down down first i mean hades so elias can catch yeah, the spell right behind I should, it. I should probably go mm -hmm. and yeah, Hades, you start to make your way down the stairs. And you're just heading down. You've got to hop over some of the sections. It's not easy to get, uh, uh, get down. And you keep continuing down. Aiden, you're looking behind you as you guys slowly descend the stairs. Some, some more steps break off as you slowly begin to head down and as you're getting near the bottom Hades and you guys all start seeing white sticky white substance looks this is either a web or something I do not want to touch it's a web mm. it better be no it's both both what? Dirty spiders. Mm -hmm. And you you walk forward as you kind of snag your foot by a little bit of the skunk and it sticks to it and you trip right off the stairs and end up hanging just kind of halfway down, like kind of halfway down to the next set of stairs below you. Oh, Hades is? Yep. He's just hanging by a thread by his foot. Come on, Welp. Get back up, <laughs> guys. You can't hear me, but get back up. Yeah, and I didn't assume you're just backing up a little bit. As you guys hear a bit of scuttling down below. Which soon quickly silence. Ready action. If there's any goddamn face spiders, I'll blast it with guidance. Okay, and you guys sort of. If it's in the is it allowed? So you guys sort of stand around. Elarif, are you doing anything? I'm thinking of. Nah, no, no, mm. nothing. No. Not even ready. No. <laughs> and nothing's gonna happen. You're still fine. Hades, is, what are you doing? You're you're still swinging by leg above what seems to be a a fairly decent drop, enough to potentially hurt. 
Hades need help? Hmm. You want me to levitate you, or you're fine? It's up to you. I'm fine. Your Hades just lets go. Oh, and you must. <laughs> you gonna fall? And you gonna fall? And well, and yep. Okay. Luck. Let me ro- uh, Luck. get out my damage dice. Luck and stones and demons, bitch. But luckily, he can do that like you, two more, one more time after this, after the buff. <laughs> you take eleven uh, damage, and I need a dexterity saving throw from you, please, Hades. Oh yeah, there's a web down there, probably. <laughs> there's a good chance he got stabbed. Oh, my dexterity oh. save is not too good. Oh no no no! <laughs> and stones in there is. And Don't you find there. yourself. Getting stuck in the sticky yep. mass of whip, and you you start struggling, attempting to free yourself, but only it only abates to wrap you up just a bit more. As you continue to hear some scuttling, and you feel this pluck wow. of strings as you're tangled in the middle of the web, which was not here the first well. time. I, thankfully, I think I have something which can help. So, these are webs, correct? Yes, they are. And so they are pretty easy to quote, yes? Yes. So, so say if I were to use primal savagery to slash up the webs, would that set me free? Hmm, Primal Savagery. Let me have a quick look at that. Real quick. By all means. There's a droid, there's a droid thing, right? Yep, that's a druid thing. It's Since, it's you know, all, all my spells are druid because monks mm. can't really use magic. Oh, yeah, spell. Primal Savagery. How much so, druid that even? Yeah, you can most definitely attempt to. Yeah. Do this. Attempt. Okay, shall I roll my um, hit dice? Yep. Go ahead. Ooh. Hmm. Well, it's a web. And this, it's a web. This web is very sticky, and as you fling out your acid, you kind of sporadically throw it everywhere. And it does a bit, it corrodes a couple areas with, that you can hear snap with a bit of a twang, but not enough to set you free. Hmm. I'm going to rush down to Haiti while holding my torch. Where are you standing, Aiden? Hmm? Where are you going to stand, Aiden? Because quite a bit of this is covered in web. Hmm. Then I'll use I still have my torch. I'll use my torch and burn the web. Yeah, and... Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Please, no. Uh, yeah. It webs are work. flammable. <laughs> they carry flames. So if yes. it's on the web and you burn it, guess who's going to burn? I didn't. That's the without, point. Without I, thinking, I, you... I have played Metroid Prime. It's okay. I have played... No, I have played something. You, you kind of lower your torch and start attempting to burn this web and it ignites with a hiss and quickly spreads across and the scuttling draws near a nearer but soon completely abates as you see these eight eyes gleam from underneath the darkness of the web Hades and suddenly they disappear in the blink of an eye. And Aiden, you see this spider march out of its nest and start scuttling up the walls towards I hold you. action? You should have kept the amulet. <laughs> My, nah, I don't need it. My you hold action? Draw perception real quick before yeah. we do anything oh, else. Oh, I? Yep. Valera? Okay. Yep. Perception, perception. Yes, I have not said the wrong idea. thing today. <laughs> yes. A 13. You, 13. You didn't quite notice this anything really happened. You just know, Hades, Hades, how, how were you reacting to 
the sort of spider. Like spider. I mean, Hades is just kind of sat there. <laughs> Pretty calm. A little too calm for someone who's in a web. Yeah, and okay. everything seems fairly normal, except you see this burning start to occur on the web. It's a web. Do we see Hades? You you see Hades down on the web, but no Iden. Huh. So okay. So uh I, I see the fire okay, I see Hades and he's close to the fire. So I guess I'm going to try to abate the fire and just cast Ray of Frost around him. Create a barrier of ice. Yeah, so you wanna try and create a barrier of ice around Hades? Yeah, with Ray of Frost. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, like, uh... Yep, yeah. I, know, I know what you mean. Roll to hit. I was just confirming a few things. If you get... Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> and you shoot Don't a worry. Ray of Frost at you, and you've gotten fairly used to casting this spell continuously by now, and you, you frost <laughs> the whole area around Hades, and Hades, you feel a chill start to take over and you feel a little bit cold as you watch Alara shoot his ray of yeah. magic Me? around you. Cold? Never. See, that's all teamwork. I knew he would do that. Totally, 100%. Uh, yeah, great. This is now fire around me. I'm slightly cold, but, you know, I'm kind of used to the cold. I am still stuck in the web, I assume? Yes, break very free. much so. So great, we've gone nowhere. Hey, you can make Over and piss there. off the spiders who will turn me into their meal if you don't hurry up. I don't okay. roll initiative. Alright. Oh no. Oh, does my hold action activate? Because I said I hold action when the spider comes near or the spider um, appears. You you use the fire, so that will take Clippy a whole round. Before I... ready. That's 11. And 11. And let me just note this down. I don't live in phase 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 fourteen. And the spider scuttles up to you, and it's quickly attempts to bite you on the leg as you attempt to burn its newly made nest. And does a fifteen hit? No. Uh, bring on for baby. And the spider attempts to bite you as you go past, but you kind of have to just move your leg out of the way as it continues to scuttle just four feet up the wall to this urn beside you, Iden. Question. Yes? Where did you say the spider came from? Like a hole in the wall or...? It was down from the nest, and Iron was... So basically, you guys are on a spiral staircase. You're s stuck in the middle. The spider went into the ethereal round, spin around, um, around doing their heading over to Iden, as I said a little earlier, and it has now made its way up in the on the wall in the ethereal realm and is attacking Iden. Does that answer your question? Yes. And now I shall attempt to escape once more. Yeah, how are you attempting to Using ice knife. Time? Ice knife. Ice knife. Roll to hit, please. Due to, due to it being absolutely cold, it should brittle the webs and destroy. Which hits. Oh. Yeah, and you manage to, instead of actually casting it, you grab this ice knife out of where you conjured it in the air and cut yourself uh, self free. Only to land into a figure part of the nest. God <laughs> fucking damn it! You should have stayed there. Is your pure strength to break out? I'm just strong. How many layers of this nest are there? Hmm. Um, <laughs> you're looking down at this point, and it looks like you've got a little while to go. This one has only just mm. recently started this nest. As you Am I still holding the knife? 
Yeah, you can continue to cut away at it next time. I will continue to cut away until oh I hit the God. bottom. I was going to go down and help, help you levitate up, but okay. Yeah, he's well, just your plans. <laughs> hey, at least I won't take any fall damage when I hit the bottom. Will yeah, I? luckily. That's one well, there you go. No fall damage, no problem. Let's go. <laughs> and yeah, Alara, mm. are you going to do anything? I'm just gonna make my. I'm just gonna make my way downstairs. Continue trying to catch up to uh, Hades. Yeah, you. Some support cutting the web would be nice. You have to jump, jump. Up over this massive gap as Hades is busy talking, and you you've got to kind of focus on this. And run me a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Oh, oh okay. Uh, nine. Nine. And you go to jump over onto this next patch of stairs and you find yourself falling and getting stuck near this now burning web. A web. Oh, shit. Um... I cast Levitate on myself and try to uh, hover myself upwards, escape the web. And immediately as you're falling, uh, falling, getting caught in this web, you cast Levitation. And it starts tugging at this web, but this seems to be a thicker part of the web than where Hades was. And you start levitating up, and the web stretches underneath you, but does not snap. I take off my coat. Yep. That's you stuck to me. You take off your coat and you find yourself levitating uh, 20 feet above the spider's web. No, no my designer coat. Oh, yeah, well. I know. All right, I, I'm going to float down, try to help uh, Hades. Yeah. Hey, wizard man, you can create... Animals, can't you? No. I mean, Animals? What? No. What's the name? Familiars. No. You control them. Yeah, like 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> oh you mean the raven. Sure. Don't I matter. Have, uh, command it to come down. Don't matter. Find me a familiar to help me. As Hades is still slashing at the webs. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to unattune the... Uh... Mm -hmm. Amulet of what is it called? Amulet of uh, yeah, of that. <laughs> it takes thirty oh, minutes wait, I to added it. tune, I believe. Okay. Oh, never mind. That. Crap. Okay, so I can't burn it down with the flaming sphere. Hmm. No, it's. Oh, the there's web already is still a burning. fire. I mean, you could. Yeah, there, there's already fire here. Yeah, the web is still burning, and it was getting pretty close to you, and is slowly creeping its way down the nest, and the parts which it burns starts to blacken and sort of crumble. And hmm. Aiden, I believe yep. it is your turn. Yes. Second level, inflict wound. Yep. Roll. Ooh. Do you need to roll to hit for that one? Yep, 19. 19, that hits. Roll damage, please. That's 4d10. That's a 17 points of necrotic. And the space spider screeches as a bunch of what seem to be invisible swords slash it, slash all across its hide. And you see it sort of white and blue mottled skin take but, uh, sort of slashes of red appearing in it as it shrieks and kind of curls up on itself. Just a little bit as you attack the beast. And then um, as a bonus action, I'm going to summon my archer constellation and shoot an arrow at it. With disadvantage, right? Because arrow close range. Yep. Roll to hit, please. Uh, uh, starting archer form. With even oh. So two tens, there's a fifteen. Yes, and more damage. It takes 
six points of radiant. And As you arrow summon goes. your form and you see these stars begin to wink into existence and floating around to form the constellation of an archer and these white lines connect the stars as it draws its constellation back and fires a starry arrow at the beast and it sinks right near to its chest as you see this red blood sort of pour out of it and the face spider shrieks and that's shrieks all in horror. I can do and the arrow bursts out of existence and with that what are the other two doing in the material Hmm. Seems like I can't do anything to help Hades. Uh, want me to levit? Oh, no, levitation doesn't work. Really nope. <clears throat> I have an idea. See, Hades is big brain. Hades shouts to cast. Was it rare frost next to him? Okay. Okay. Like in a circle around him. Yep. Or something. No. Oh, no. And you. No. Like a. Oh, a circle next to him. Oh, so you can you'll hold see. on to it? You, you'll see. Yeah. yeah. And roll to hit. Yeah. Hit if you're going to do that. Okay. Man. Sorry. Yeah, uh, right. something came up. Okay. Anyways. So, okay. So, like a spot next to you? Next to Hades? Yep. A spot right. next to me. Natural 20. Oh. And you grab out this massive sort of ball of frost that starts coming to existence within both of your hands. And you have to sort of bring your hands apart and bring it above you. Your head has such a large spell. And you give a massive heave and throw it directly into the web. And... It sort of shoots down a bit of an angle in the web and you hear the first layer of web go with a bit of a crack. But the rest seem to be mostly intact as this wall, ball of frost sort of penetrates this area. Uh, does that help? Now there's a hole. Not sure if it helps. <laughs> How deep does the hole go? He just kind of looks, see if it hits the bottom. Yeah, you have to kind of strain your head to look as the webs are holding your head in place. And you look down and you can see the frost lingering on the web for quite a ways down. Do you have dark vision, Hades? I'll have a look. I don't, I don't think so. No. And before you can see see it go any further, it seems to have hit some pitch black. Well, a pitch black location at the very depths of this newly created phase spider nest. How does levitate work, work again? You levitate? Levitate instantly. Levitate someone up to uh, 20 feet into the air and only things that weigh less than 500 pounds. And you you can only move by, of course, using objects to help you move. It's not like flight. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me have a little time to think. I did have an idea if a love can hit a nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, I from am, you're busy attacking this face spider and it seems fairly injured at this point and makes a desperate attack for uh, your legs and finally manages to bite you. Minor and, diversify energies. Okay, roll a d20, please. Um, 
that's a ten, so the middle. Yes, and you feel this sort of mingling at your leg, and you're still going to take the brunt of the damage, but the poison is not going, the actual effect from having being poisoned is not going to take yes. effect. Doesn't mean you are avoiding yeah. the damage, though. You find the right dice. No. Oh my gosh, I rolled a 10. So you start yeah. by taking 12 piercing damage. Yep, and con and... Yes, please. Um, that's, a, that's a 20. A 20, and you manage to avoid the brunt of this with your spell and your constitution save, and you manage to only take five... You only managed to take 10 damage from the poison this time. Ooh. And the face, um, the face spider, as a bonus action, is going yep. to head to the material anyway. plane. And Alarif, what are you? We are you, roughly, in relation to Aiden when you were walking down the stairs. Aiden was like, Where do I go? Uh, oh yeah, you f you fell down. We just uh, give me just a little second to think. All yeah, like I, I had levitation, so I'm like hovering right above Hades right now. I think it's yeah. in the middle of me and Hades. Maybe. Yeah, twelve, ten. So yeah, behind you, just out of opportunity attack range, you see this spider come into existence. This large monstrosity if you will and it seems fairly injured with cuts all over it and what looks like to be a wound in its chest and it starts scuttling as far away as it can from the rest of you up into the great beyond above you attack it wait yeah. right in, like right in front of me Yep. Um, it's around 12 feet away from you, so out of opportunity attack range. You can cast um, a spell. So I'm gonna, pan I'm gonna shriek and then just panic cast uh, burning hands at it. Roll to hit. Uh, it's deck save. Dex okay, 13, deck 100. save. Probably not the best idea. Um, yeah. what's, what's the DC? Uh, 13. And you barely managed to uh, sort of bring out this sort of flame and shoot it at this creature and you managed to burn it for the full amount and you hear this sort of hissing hmm. roll damage oh. seven seven and you watch it as it curls up. It This sort of burning manages to abate the bleeding from the spider. But it it sort of hisses and complains as it continues to attempt to scuttle away from the Oh, damage. so it's like cold hands. Cold hands instead of burning. Never mind. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> and... It's still, it's still kind of hissing and discomfort. And have you ever heard the thing of an ice burn? Oh, Where something yeah. so cold that it burns you. This is sort of the effect that it's having on the spider. Mm -hmm. Nice. Should slow it down for a bit. Yeah. So a bit. Just a bit. A bit. Can I? Well, it is action, I guess. Yeah, but... Like, and I want to reappear back in the material world and arrow, arrow, arrow. You've still got a little bit of time left before you can fully materialize. What it's was it? An action. If I want to go back, it's an action. If I want to... Uh, if I, it's materializing, is an action. Not 24 seconds. That's only going uh, to be... Did we change that? Yeah. Uh, no, you, it's, it's in the beginning, you said it. 
in, in the very beginning, if you want to go back, it's an action, but if you want to go to the ACL plane, it's 20 points. But then we cha uh, change that because I mm, think it might be too powerful in combat. But no, the the, the oh, way true. I remember it, the it's it 24 here. seconds, and then 24 seconds to go in the ethereal plane. But then if we, if I got to combat in the middle of the ethereal plane, I can go back with an action. But I can go to the ethereal plane to the ethereal plane again after that, unless it's out of combat. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a quick look, real quick. What you what you write down? Because I want to make sure I get this right. Yeah, just give me a second. Feel free to discuss discuss between you, Hades, and Laugh what you two are doing with the whip. Because Hades is still in it. Oh, and it's still working. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna ignore Hades for a moment and continue trying to attack the spider. Spider. Yeah, the threat first. Yeah. Sorry, Hades. You're on your own. For now. I bet Hades just strips off his clothing and jumps down the hole. <laughs> How much damage has it been? Seven, six, so thirteen and seventeen. Thirty points of damage, still not dead. Fucking hell. Yeah, I have no idea. I can't find it in DMs. It might have just been extra thing but pretty sure i'm pretty sure if we decided on 24 seconds then that's more than an action because i no i don't i remember it yeah i remember the conversation it's 24 seconds to go to the serial plane but if i, if I want to go back then it's only an action going yeah, to sorry. 24 going back one action yeah, sorry, I just can't uh, can't remember. I just remember uh, by saying something might be too powerful. But yeah, I'll look for it later. So we'll keep we'll keep it like that for now. So you'll repeat, uh, reappear around thirty feet away from the creature. But it will and be behind the stairs above you guys now. Study sky adult. Yeah, roll roll to hit, please, and I need to. That's a 23 to hit. A 20 and uh, 23? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And does that hit? 23. Yes, that hits. And you just managed to get it through sort of a crack in the stone. Roll damage, please. Maximum damage, 11. Ooh. 11. 11 points of radiant. And you hear the sort of shriek as you come out of the eighth, eighth round full round and I believe that was that sorry for marcher is a bonus action correct yep yep and you hear the shriek as you presumably hit this phase spider you can't see it because it's behind above uh, behind this sort of staircase but you do see this red blood dropping down from the stairs and falling splat. Splat. Oh, I hear no more movement. From this thing. Um, you've still got around 30 feet of movement available. No. Uh, do I hear I hear movement? I think. Um, you don't uh, it's Catholic, like like raw perception, you know, actually. That's uh, 11. 11. And you see the blood dropping down, but you're not entirely sure if you can hear it moving around. It it could be, but you're not entirely sure either way. Alright. And Hades, how are you getting out of your sticky situation? Literally, as I said, I shall strip my clothing off so therefore I'm not stuck and I shall jump down the hole. Yeah. 
<laughs> we need clothes when you're a monk. Uh. So no clothes. To, uh, Hades with no clothes. Jumps, no clothes. Jumps into the hole. Uh, into the hole of webs and you hear just a cloth of rag, just a cloth rag covering the junk jumping down the hole. You hear the sort of snapping as you jump down, and the webs sort of snap under you, and you take four falling damage. <laughs> four. Yep. Is Stone Endurance worth it? <laughs> Going down the barbarian style. And Hades. Roll perception. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's dark down there. There's nothing. You're, you're so bad. Oh no. <laughs> and you take a bit of a look around. It's dark. There's webs Man, around yeah, you. Just... But it looks like you might be able to walk a little bit um, forward through a certain direction. Okay. Just towards the stairs. It seems like there might be a location you can walk to. I. Mm, but it is. I'm in the middle of a nest. It is. Don't go alone. Should I? Hold on. Let me. And Alarif as. You guys were busy shooting this thing. You do notice that the fire has finally doused itself and has stopped burning. And part of the top part of the nest, or, or what you can see, is all black and charred. Uh, what about my coat? Is it still there? Is it fine or no? No, unfortunately not. Uh, okay. Well, it seems too bad. to be just... fairly blackened at this point. Potentially salvageable, but it's not in good shape. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just going to spend an action, just ignore the spider and uh, grab whatever is left of my coat. Yeah. And Shed it on the side of it. You'll just kind of have to reach off from the side of the stairs and you drag it over as the web kind of crumbles beneath it and you have to shake it off and it's got holes in through it that are burned oh it's in terrible shape it's all charcoal covered in charcoal uh, it's almost well, it's fairly disgusting press digitation clean it up and uh just put whatever is left into my pack i guess and you clean it up and it's it's in ruins. You couldn't really see it before. There's holes littered right across the back. And it's basically in pieces. So, like add, add, basically add just ruined pieces of burnt fabric to your inventory. <laughs> Around five. <laughs> uh, let's hope I can get, the, get it fixed. Still something, some pieces left. Alright, so... Do I turn my attention back to the spider after? Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to head up. <laughs> because you can't see the spider from down here. Huh, I'm gonna float up then. You're gonna use the go. levitation? How long does that last for? An hour. Just... Ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes. Yeah, you, it was definitely still last. And you have to kind of use the stairs to drag yourself up. And Aiden, what are you mm -hmm. doing as you watch Alaraf sort of drag himself up woods? I do I hear Hades falling, like the thump of his falling. Oh yeah, the, the thump's quite, <laughs> yes. quite loud. Yes, you would. Yep. <laughs> okay. Then do I have? Then I'm going to grab one of my torches, cast light on it, and drop it down. So Hades have light down there. If you didn't hear the thud, you'd hear the son of a bitch. Yeah, roll uh, dexterity. <laughs> oh, this is going to drop his hand, is that? That's an eight. An eight. Oh, and eight. Uh, it lands in the web. You, you go to throw this down, and it goes, it breaks past, like, this ruined piece of web, which has all been 
burnt, but underneath you can see the fairly intact web which it gets stuck on. And it doesn't end up where you were intending it to end up. And it's just kind of glowing on the surface. But you can see a bit more of like the web and it seems like it continues quite a bit. A bit downwards. Alright, that might work, but I need to get back. In that case, I'm going to grab another torch, cast light on it, cast guidance on myself, and throw it again. Yeah, but in meanwhile, while let's head over to Hades, what are you doing as you sit and, well, you basically just stand in the darkness or sit, whatever you would prefer. He's gone! I think Hades, Hades has gone missing. God damn it. Hades. Nope! He's just very concentrated in moving through the nest and trying not to die. Because oh. you never know what's around here. So you're moving through the Is he nest? gonna move that's so. moving deeper into the nest into the nest? And well let's go. I shall move deeper into the nest and just kind of ready a dodge. You never know. <laughs> And you pad <coughs> deeper into the darkness of the nest. It's so dark in here. So Just to be safe, I'm a former ice death and explode it. So you're, you're gonna throw it in front of you and explode it? Yep. Roll to hit, please. I fucking explode myself. <laughs> And yeah, you, you go to your bro. Spare me, and... spare me for humiliation and just keep it as I exploded myself, please. And as you head forward, you keep coming across sort of snags of web and you throw an ice knife into the dark, dark abyss before you and all that surrounds you. And it catches on a piece of web right next to you and explodes in your face. Roll damage. <laughs> Actually, roll the DCR2 saving throw first. Because <laughs> technically you've got to do that. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe, uh, what is your spell DC? Meets it beats it, actually. Beats so it. I believe That's you nice. take half damage? Is it half or damage? Or one just complete? Avoid it. Uh, avoidance. I'm gonna get ice. Let me have a look. Knife. I get ice. Okay, so yeah, you've you man you managed to miss the bro uh, bulk of the ice getting flung at you by the spell. Still a bit humiliating, despite no one being here to see you do this, Hades. And yet you. Continue on in the darkness of the nest. Hades, how are you making your way around in pitch darkness? Yes. Oh. I shall cast Fairy Fire ahead of me and just kind of walk in and sit down. Yeah, Yay. and you've, you're in, you've been in quite far and you finally decide that it's probably a good idea to cast Fairy Fire. And darkness still surrounds the area around you. It seems the edges of the nest are more than 20 feet deep. But you've been looking forward and you just feel this sort of slime brush your hand as oh. you walk forward. I should probably look at what's dripping down my hand. And you uh, turn to look as you see this sort of white mound with this strange creature birthing inside. And this goo is dripping from the sort of above where as you finally turn and look up, you see a multitude of spider eggs covering the ceiling. 
Oh, great. Amit's next meal. Kill the younglings. Do the Anakin. Kill the younglings. Come on, Hades. What are you doing, Hades? Mm, I shall... Run away. Where? Well, the way you came from. Great. Now I'm at the bottom. There you go. You can I'll, just wait I'll... for health. Well, at least don't go where in the middle. I should. I should, yeah, I should probably just back up. <laughs> yeah. Back into the spot where I was. Sit down and take a short rest slash meditate. <laughs> and as you go to back up, Hades, you hear this sort of chip, 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 chip surrounding you. As you see the eggs starting to worth even more, and you hear some ripping noises as you attempt to head back. And out of these eggs you see a bunch of small spiders bursting out and they immediately look at you as... Is it possible to tame spiders? You're a druid, you can certainly try. You can talk to it, I mean, I think. Um, let's go... Do I, roll... do I have that spell? Animal handling? Yeah, roll animal handling, definitely. I was wondering if I was doing, going to do intelligence or... Woo! Nice. Woo, baby! Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Like to see. Familiars, definitely, being able to be spiders, and maybe, maybe you could potentially train one like yes too bad of an idea actually it's yes <laughs> yes i'm the monk who trained a fucking face spider the first these spiders are all going to look at you as you look like lunch I <laughs> well i shall I sh Do they like eating big things? Mm, you're not sure what they like eating, actually. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mm. You have ration. Okay, back. Okay. Um, so, what did you say? So, basically, you're not entirely sure what fairy spiders eat, but these ones are looking at you, particularly like your lunch right now. I could try and pull the bear tactic and make myself look big. But would that work? Hold on. Um, you're not a high animal handling check, so... <laughs> and need food to tame it, like iron. And, and plus, they're, they are a baby. They're not really brave. Uh, rations! Rations! I have so many rations. I shall just casually and slowly take off my backpack, pull out some rations, and feed for spiders. You toss these rations all around you and these tiny little spiders on instinct go for the easier option of the two and they quickly swarm your rations and hungrily mm. devour them. 
I shall gently crouch down and just hold up my hand. As if, as if trying to tame a cat. <laughs> just try and get them used to me. Roll animal handling, please. Again. Yes, please. <laughs> Ooh, and shit. <laughs> you kneel down, placing your hand out on the ground. Most of the ciders pay no heed, and after their lunch, they start breaking out from the nest. But one taps its left leg on the ground. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. And looks around at the rest and turns to look back at you. And it slowly begins to creep forward. I shall hand you some more rations for being a good spider. You grab out your next bag of rations and start sort of tossing some for it. It regards you with what seems like curiosity before looking down at the food and taking a look back at you and it uses one of its legs to quickly nudge uh, arm and close to it, and it starts just kind of nibbling it. I shall gently pat the spider and let it have its peace. You give the pat, uh, spider a bit of pack and back, and it sort of flinches. But the food eventually wins it over <coughs> as it continues uh, to go over to the rest of the food, occasionally looking towards you and watching you with curiosity. And from above, I don't know, Lara, what are you two doing? I'm going to drain all the blood that I can from the damn face spider. All the blood. Yeah, what are you putting yeah. this blood in? Water skin. <laughs> So you're going to use your only water skin, toss out all the water, and put the blood in? I can just cook another water. Or cast Purify for and drink. Okay, so you, uh, you grab the water and you I'm going to drink all of my water skin first. Okay. I <laughs> so I don't waste of the water. <laughs> it's going to take you a bit to drink this whole entire water skin, but... Yeah, but... You're, you're, you're yeah. probably sitting here for around 10 minutes before you can finally manage to swallow okay. all the water. Then no, I'll, max. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll drink it until I'm I'm like, I'm full, then I'll just throw it away. No, not throw it away. I'll throw the water away and drain the blood. Yeah, and at this point, most of the blood has dried and it's not really suitable for gathering. It seems to dry fairly quickly. <laughs> um, but you do manage to get probably a vial's worth of blood. All right. And, Alara, well, what are you doing during this time? Well, seeing the webs all blackened, I suddenly remember about Hades and the burning webs, so I start making my way down. Yeah, and you start making your way down into the webs. It, takes you quite a while and eventually your levitation runs out and runs out and you fall oh. into the web but you've fallen right down to the bottom of the web and around you you see a swarm of spiders scuttling out of the wall. oh shit shit <laughs> oh no <laughs> and they scuttle the away levitate. from the, oh. stir the sort of disturbance and continue to climb up the walls and above mm. Iden, raw perception do, 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 do. that's a 19 19 and you see oh, this and... massive swarm of little baby space spiders just crawling up all the walls they leave a wide berth ar around you but then one sees the dead face spider that happens to be its mother and then the rest all stop on the walls and look at you. Or you think you're, they're looking at you. I'm going to transform into a panther and book it upstairs. 
all the way to the and uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna book it upstairs. Yeah, and you you run straight past past and through these spiders. They quickly scuttle out of your way. A few get crushed underneath your feet, and you make your way up to the top. And you see all the little mini baby spiders heading towards a phase spider and start devouring mm. it. Oh well, there's club life. Yeah. Has has my little friend remained? It seems to be particularly interested in you for whatever reason. And it walks around just it's pretty much nearly finished the food by now, but it he's intently regards you and you two lock eyes as it considers you for a moment before it scuttles a little bit closer looks at your hand still patiently just sitting on the floor and it taps one of its legs onto one of your fingers and looks up at you why is, why is this one adorable? I want it. Actually, I'll just look at the spider again and just ever so gently whisper, Go on. Just casually edging it towards my hand. And as you do this, you feel a quick, a quick bite and you see a bite on your finger and around you the sort of blue swirls onto your vision before you quickly black out. <laughs> Damn it. No, I, well, I, I knew that I can't, even use, I can't even use my stones and dunes to shook off everything. It does not seem to work. Mm, oh, well. Reasons. Hey, I'm not dead, nor did I take any damage. Did I take damage or did it just paralyze me? No, you're not you're not entirely sure what happened. Oh, there you go. Just paralyzed. I'm fine. Just. And I mean you blacked out, so who knows what happens. And Alarif, you make your way through the bottom of the nest and as you're walking you see a bunch of broken open spider eggs in the darkness. And I assume, do you have any sort of torch? I do, I mean, but instead you of can, using it... You can grab the thing that I cast. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Well, what did you put light on again? Uh, a, a torch. Just a wood torch. It's a little bit too far away. Oh. Different end of the nest. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I have a torch in my inventory. I'll, I'll light it up then. Yeah, and as I said before, you see all the broken up spider eggs all over the ceiling and walls. And what looks like to be an entrance on the very opposite side of all these broken eggs. Is there an in intact egg among one of them? Roll perception, please. Mm hmm. 17. 17. It seems like there are a few dead spiders that never actually fully hatched among the eggs, but those seem to be the only ones you can see which are unhatched. Hmm. How big are the unhatched spiders? Um, unhatched spiders, which you saw earlier. Yeah, like how, how big is one of the eggs? I mean? Um, you could pretty much pick it up in your arms and yeah you, it, it's fairly it's fairly decent imagine sort of like a basketball sort of size if you're a tall oh, that's big yeah they're, they're fairly big all right uh I'll, I'll just take one of them and put it into my backpack yep please add the unhatched space body egg to your inventory this won't bite me in the back later for sure Let's see. Yeah, give me a sec to add it in. 
Unhatched spider egg. And maybe unconscious bands me this. Is my spider friend still next to me? <laughs> sure. We'll be answered attack. soon, Hades. Please, I want my <laughs> spider friend. It's not worth it, man. Give it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I added it, so I'm going to continue on into um, that passageway. You continue on, you feel sort of the goo as you brush along one of the side of the walls and you continue on to the, into this nest and out of the sort of abyssal darkness you see the body of Hades lying across the floor and against him snuggles this little tiny face spider just right next, next to his head and they look particularly cute if I do say so myself Hmm. I'm gonna look around, see if there are any other dangers around, is there? If you touch my spider, you shall <laughs> feel the wrath of fucking nature. Roll of oh, you're unconscious, so I can't hear any of that. <laughs> Investigation? If he, okay. if he wakes up and does, does not find that spider... <laughs> Back to sleep you go, and then and I'll cast sleep. <laughs> you look into the depths of this room, further than what Hades actually saw when he was wandering in the darkness, and suddenly this massive face spider jumps out at you, Alara. But turns out it oh, is shit. only the uh, skin of it. Oh, only the, like, the shed skin? Yep. Oh, so it's not an actual spider? Okay. Nope. Just a carapace. Hmm. Huh. So. Okay, I got a 21, so I, I'm pretty confident there aren't anything else. Hmm. Aiden's still up there, right? Trying to get stuff out of the spider? Yeah. But at the moment, I believe he is running. Hmm. <laughs> running where? Oh, I don't know that. Hmm. Nope. Well. In any case, I'm just going to yell up, hoping Echo will reach him for, for Aiden to come down. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if he's back yet. Aiden? Aiden? He's not back yet. So you, you yell out, and he pays no attention to you. He's too far up at this point, and very much focusing on these this little tiny face spider swarm. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, no dice. Okay. Uh, let me read through prestidigitation first. Hmm. This hmm. is actually one of the spells. All I right. Have. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I. Okay. Let me think. What attracts spider? Like, is there anything that attracts a spider? Like food? Okay, sure, actually. I'll take off my backpack, open an, a compartment, like an empty a compartment on it, and then from my hand, I'm going to create a fake food that emits like a strong food odor. So let's see, what, what should I make? Uh, just like a piece of steak. And I'm going to put it into the compartment and then step away, like hide behind uh, the door. <laughs> you mean some of the, just a web? And... Like, you just, just, yeah. Yeah, nothing really comes out for it. The little mini spider's still snuggling up Hades. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take that ta that piece of steak and throw it at... Oh, uh, wait, no, actually. How many can I create? You, you stay far away from my spider. <laughs> I'm trying to lure it into the like to the backpack and then like close it up. I'm trying to help you. No, <laughs> leave it. He is snuggled with me. He is fine. Can't okay. What condition is Hades in? Can I make a check of some sort? Yeah, roll me this one. Medicine. Oh crap! Plus one. Oh, still good. I've seen so many good ones. 
17. A 17. And you look at Hades that you can't really just answer in any cause for why he is non-responsive. You've read a couple of books in the past just based on some medicine, especially with some of your more intriguing tutors. And, mm. yeah, you really don't know what to do to help him. Faced by the venom poisons them, but never really seems him unconscious like this, unless they've taken too much damage, but he does not seem to be poisoned. You're at a complete loss as to what to do for Hades. Hmm. Not poisoned. Sorry. Uh, okay, I have to be careful here because I don't, I don't have a full body suit. Actually, wait. Uh, I'll take the tattered scrap of my uh, former coat and wrap it around my hand and then cast sleep onto the spider. The mini spider. Yeah, and at this point, Hades is slowly coming to, but as soon as you cast sleep on this tiny little mini slider, Hades also collapses to the ground. <laughs> a good time to take a short rest and heal up. So you're taking a short mm. rest and healing up, item? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm at 5 HP. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Feel free to. Alright, I'll spend probably all of my hit there. And Alara, what, what are you doing? <laughs> well, well, first I'm gonna I'm going to just pick up the spider and then put it into my backpack, and hopefully the stake, the fake stake there, will keep it company. Yeah, you scoop it up and put it in your back um, backpack. And I assume you're just oh. leaving a little area for it to breathe and make sure it's not gonna get squished. Amongst all your equipment? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a compartment at the top of the backpack, yeah. so it, nothing should squish it. Okay. And then, uh, yep, I nudge Hades awake with my staff. And yeah, H Hades awakes up. Uh, up, completely. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing he does is sit up and says, where's my, where's my spider? Fuck oh, everything yeah. else. He wants the spider. Oh, it's on my backpack. Come on, let's go. You can see it later. I better. If my baby <laughs> ever gets hurt, oh, you better pay to the gods that you'll be safe. It's just a spider. Don't be dramatic. Come on, let's go. What are you doing down there? Taming what? spiders. Yeah, come down. We we might want to check out the rest of this place. See what's Do down here. Do not want to take a rest? I'll take a rest down here. <laughs> sure. You're the genius. As I just jump down with them. Uh, no, I, I grab the light thing before I jump down. I grab my torch that I throw away and jump down and cast light on it. Okay, and you fall to the ground at a frightening velocity and is anyone catching item? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah, how, how are you guys catching him? My body seems to have a very nice uh, muscle to fat ratio. I can certainly break four. Well, I'm just going to stand next to Hades when he's trying to catch him and uh, prepare uh, levitation. As I, as I oh. say, well, I'm going to say, why didn't oh. you say this was a fall? A deep drop? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> wait. Ah, wait, wait. Yeah, and... Okay. How, how close... I have another idea. I'd, Alara, if you're fairly far away from this main hole... I assume you're standing in the main hole. Yeah, I'm staying right, uh, yeah, under the stairs, near it. Yeah, <laughs> and 
Levitation is notoriously known for being slow to work. Especially if Why not entangle? Especially if someone's been going at fast velocity. Entangle? What if I use entangle to grab? You can do that. Like, yeah, you can, yeah, you can do like, that. Like, like all That's entangle cool. is is growing reeds and vines to grab things. But I need, I, so, first, I'm going to need you to roll initiative to see how fast you are, Hades. <laughs> Pretty fast. Oh, yeah. He's fast. 19. 19, and Hades, you quickly, as soon as you see Aiden just so close to the ground, and Alaris spell just barely take, uh, just beginning to take effect, but not enough, you quickly cast your spell with a flourish and use it to attempt to grab Aiden. And I believe it is. I've lost it again. <laughs> I've lost the spell. How do I lose a spell on a five list? <laughs> and can I, can you get maybe a dexterity check for me, please? Who makes the check? Hades. Hades? Oh, Hades. Oh, Hades. Oh, wait, me. What, what am I making? A dexterity check, please, for Entangle. Oh, no. I miss. Yep. I completely um, miss. You've been falling for quite a bit. How you? Uh, I assume you're jumping off from your highest point where you had ran up earlier. No, I I jump. I go downstairs, okay. and I jump off where where the same hole. I'm not. I'm not suicidal. <laughs> that's so I don't have minus one intelligence. Yeah, that's okay. I, I'm not gonna jump for the highest point possible. I jump for the lowest point possible. <laughs> But still, ten damage, Iden. Ten damage, okay. As I fall, you know, you could, you, you all could have warned me about that. As you I, could have looked. As I, I'm going to cast Goodberry, and just heal myself. I'm gonna eat three of them and heal myself. Yep, you can easily do that. Okay. Uh, quick enough. What does, what does Goodberry do? I've seen um, so many uses before. for Goodberry. It's um, and, before. It summons before. 10 berries. One is one hit point, but because I'm a life domain cleric, each berry is four hit points. So I have 40 points of your healing. So and it, 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 it nourishes you for one day, but it, it 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 doesn't now because for yeah, just campaign for, purposes. Just campaign purposes just makes it a little bit yeah. easier on me for yeah. uh, give you guys just some other things to be able to do. So it only heals me. I mean, it's uh, powerful because uh, it's a build thing. You have to yeah. multi class, so you have to get you know. It's still a powerful multi spell. Yeah, it is. He shall just sit down and quickly meditate after taking quite a bit of damage. Anyone uh, else need a healing thing? Uh, Anyone else need healing? Hades probably needed. Hades, you need healing? Uh, healing, yes. How low are you? Eh, I'm only 17 out uh, of 27. What's your math? 27. Okay, then 17. Then I'm going to hand you over three berries. There we go. You get them all, you're at full health. Yep. They have they have a very strange taste. Like you you start eating them and they taste a bit sour, then immediately they start becoming sweeter as you continue to eat the good berries. But mm, tastes very familiar. Mm, is everyone taking a rest? Or what are you guys doing? Well, well, I prefer if you can take a long rest, but if you all want to move on, then I guess my wild chip is enough. I have two, spe two spell slots left. <laughs> I ran out of second level spell slots, so only two first level left. 
we can move on, but it's, it's up to you. Let's just take a long rest. Yeah, that's that's better. Yeah, you guys have been exploring for pretty much like a nearly an entire day, and who who has had something to eat today? That does not include Goodberry. I can. I grab my ration. I have nine more, nine days worth left. Everyone who hasn't eaten, take a level of exhaustion, please. Wait, really? Does yeah, you know. doesn't Goodberry nourish you for twenty four hours? For no. campaign, campaign purposes, campaign it purposes. doesn't have. After the no, after better. this plane, then it, it can. For realism. Oh. Otherwise, it will wreck the economy. Like everyone, like no one is in yep. the world is <laughs> really. Mm. Hey man, that's why that's why druids never get money. Or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can create their own the, food and stuff. The weakest druid can cast good berry. Exactly. All you need is one level. And yeah, you Anyways, guys I'll up. take first spot. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, you guys just all wake up in the morning. You don't see any spiders, and you guys are still stuck in the nest. <laughs> <laughs> you can I wish it. to see my baby. Sure. <laughs> yeah, let's just assume I give it. Uh, I open it for him the night prior. And I shall hold out my hand once more. I just uh, hold out the compartment instead of holding Yeah. This little baby spider has been sleeping pretty much this whole entire time, but... And now, as you give it a nudge, Hades, it awakens, and suddenly, your vision goes all wonky. It bites down again. I knew it. <laughs> nope. Nope. It didn't bite down. It didn't. That's not what she said. It's not what I see to laugh. That's just oh. what you're assuming. But now your mm. vision goes all wonky, Hades, and it's as if you can see nearly to the back of your head. Which seems a bit odd, as... Quite frankly, you normally cannot do that. Third person viewing? The idea you get used to it. No, not third person <laughs> viewing. You're look looking in front of you, but you're also looking further behind you than you normally can. Oh, so like tunnel vision. Not really. It's more as like as if your view is extended and you're seeing multiples of mm. Alaraf and Iden. Oh, spider vision. You have spider eyes. Yep, we've got someone who's got it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I That's see spider eyes. Yeah, guys, because spider, you can, spider can see like many things at once, but not uh, see many things. But they have, correct. They have, imagine they have multiple That's, eyeballs. That's why they have multiple eyeballs. Yep. Is to increase their right. um, peripheral vision. Hey, do Hades yes, have multiple no. eyeballs? Hey, Hades. Yeah. Just a question real Button. quick. Very innocent question. Are you touching any... Is anyone touching any web? No. No? I'm, nope. I'm, I'm literally still in nothing but a cloth that's <laughs> covering my dick. <laughs> Pretty much. But yeah, Hades is missing but... all his clothes. Yeah. <laughs> And he's got this weird vision, and it's incredibly hard to do anything at the moment with this weird vision. Do you know what we're doing hard times like this? <laughs> yes. we, play, we play soothing bagpipes. But uh, roll, yeah. roll a dexterity check for me, please. Dexterity. You've still got spider vision, Hades. Oh, no. oh my God. And you, you, you can grab out your bagpipe, but you keep missing as your deep perception, perceptions all off. And eventually you manage to grab it. And you're clumsily holding it until you get your fingers in the right, yeah. right place. But you've played the bagpipe plenty of times before. You don't need to see where your fingers are. And you start playing the bagpipes. Does the spider like it? Yeah, it's from what you can see, 
You can see it's just kind of dancing around. I can see a lot of things. And it has its two front legs up, and it's sort of bringing them back and forth. As you're yes. Yes, partying spider. As I see Hades struggling to even grab his bagpipes, I'm going to say, you okay? How many fingers I'm holding? 50. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> Yep, roll in sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cast Guidance as well. Oh, never mind, I don't need it. 21. And it seems like he's actually, for once, telling the truth. Um, Aladdin, <laughs> he's telling the truth. He, he sees 50 finger. Either, can I, can I look, make, either uh, you really do have 50, uh, 50 fingers. Wait. What? Hmm. Uh, inside check. <laughs> Wait. Inside check. <laughs> inside check. Okay. Hmm. Uh, can I like uh, make a nature or medicine check to see what what's going on? Yeah, roll medicine. All right, I'll cast guidance. So, where's my medicine shit? What is it? Oh, never mind. I found it. That's a 21 plus, plus 3. That's a 24. Maybe maybe he's got a concussion. He should be seeing 10 fingers. But oh, he said 50. He's seeing 50. <laughs> yeah, some, something seems definitely cut off. Maybe he's got a, some sort of concussion. Yeah, concussion's probably the most likely choice. Or potentially a bit of brain damage. But it doesn't really look like he's got any damage to the brain. Either How would you know unless you look at the brain? <laughs> or brain damage. Well, it doesn't look like he's got <laughs> any dents on his head, any sort of bruises. Actually, I'm going to... Wait, let me see if I... I think What's I happening have... to the little spider this entire time? It's, it's, it's just dancing. Just dancing. Really. It's got its two front legs up and it's bringing them like, back and forth. I'm going to cast detect ritual, cast detect magic, and see if I detect any magic in Hades. Um, face spiders ha are pretty early uh, magical, I believe. So, in just the general area, you see this sort of strange aura around Hades. A light, a pale, a light pale blue. Around Hades? Yep. And if you were to look at the spider, then yes, it would be around the spider as well. Ah, well, Hades, you have the same aura yep. as a spider. Not just any spider. Ah, My I spider. As he looks at the spider and decides not to pet it, because that would probably not end up well. Hmm, so, yeah. Well, well, you know what? He, you do you, buddy. I'm not gonna involve in your personal life decisions, but you will probably transform into a spider eventually, and I may Whoa. or may not have to put you down. Hell no. <laughs> anyway, let's explore more of this place. Maybe we can find out what's going on with Hades. Yeah. <laughs> Hades shall use his quarter staff as a walking stick. Yeah, you're you're still struggling to kinda move around, but you're slowly getting used to this vision. Can you add to notes uh plus one to your dexterity vision? Dexterity your, your vision. Perception you mean? Yeah, oh. a plus one for spider vision. Dick spider vision. Okay. So there well, is a benefit. Okay. Well, there might be more disbenefit than benefit in the end, but for now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it, the spider's gonna grow too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I believe this is, this is actually the perfect time to end the session, actually. <laughs>